Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the chloroplast structure, function and the biogenesis of chloroplast. This is one of the important organelles of plant which is seen only in case of plants not in the animals. In this chloroplast where carbon environmental carbon dioxide is converted to the carbohydrate so we can say this is the organelle which is responsible for the photosynthesis the plant chloroplast is having many similarity with the mitochondria like both are having their own genomes so they are able to make many proteins many enzymes which are responsible for their own cell division both are involved in the generation of metabolic energy but still the chloroplast organelle is more complex than the mitochondria like first if we'll say which tasks are different than the mitochondria so first there is a photosynthetic conversion of carbon dioxide into the carbohydrates and many more this organelle chloroplast is able to synthesize many amino acids fatty acids and lipids which are all involved in their own membrane and this is the organelle where nitrogen is converted into the organic compounds by the reduction of nitrite to the ammonia by nitrite to the ammonia so if we will talk about the structure this organelle is large organelle they are having 5 to 10 micrometer long structure this organelle is a double membrane organelle that double membrane is called as the chloroplast envelope if we will talk about there is a one third internal membrane system this membrane system is called as thylakoid membrane within the thylakoid membrane we are having flat disc like structure each disc is called as a thylakoid and the th this thylakoid one above the another in a form of stack like arrangement they are collectively called as the grana we are having within in there we are having two three spaces no sorry two spaces one is intermembrane sphere another is the grana if we will say the outer membrane of the mitochondria sorry the outer membrane of the chloroplast are having many porins which allow the free movement of small molecules so in both cases we are having porins in the outside membrane the inner membrane is impermeable but due to the presence of specific membrane transporters there is the movement of ions or molecule from outer membrane into the inner membrane from inner membrane into the outer membrane so the chloroplast trauma is equivalent in function to the mitochondrial matrix as both are having like both are having genome present there and they are able to make a variety of metabolic enzymes these enzymes are able to convert carbon dioxide into the carbohydrate but the, there is a one major difference between the mitochondria and the chloroplast so this um, difference is the thylakoid membrane as we know there the h positive ions in case of mitochondria is taken from the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space through which there is the electrochemical gradient by via this electrochemical gradient atps are synthesized on the atpases so in case of chloroplast electron transport system is located in the thylakoid membrane as you can see in the diagram and protons are pumped across this membrane from stroma into the thylakoid lumen this results in the electrochemical gradient and the ATPs are formed so the 
here we can say the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast is then equivalent to the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So, if we will talk about the genome of the mitochondria, the genome of the mitochondria is circular in nature or circular in structure. Multiple copies of the genome are present in the chloroplast. They, it has been observed that the, this genome is more complex than the genome of the mitochondria. Chloroplasts are approximately chloroplasts are having 150 genes with the size of 120 to 120 to 60 kilobase pairs and this chloroplast genome is able to encode for the RNA proteins and variety of those proteins are involved in the photosynthetic reaction so they are have they can code for transfer RNA which are used in the translation of the chloroplast and there are diff many more different organelles and there are many more different organelles as you can see here we are having many genes which are present in the chloroplast genome we are having genes for ribosomal RNA which are able to code for 23S, 16S, 5S and 4.S, 4.5S. The total number of these ribosomal RNA are 4 in number. For transfer RNA we are having 30 genes. For ribosomal protein we are having 21 genes. RNA polymerase units we are for those RNA polymerase units we are having 4 genes. So, if we will talk about the proteins or the genes which are involved in the photosynthesis, like for photosystem 1, we are having 5 genes, photosystem 2, we are having 12 genes, for cytochrome B5 complex, 4 genes, ATP synthase, 6 genes, and 1 gene for ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase. So, this was the list of the genes which are present in the which are present in the genome of the chloroplast. Now, if we will say the chloro, if we will talk about now the plastids. This plast chloroplast is one of the form of the plaster. All plastids, if we will say, we are having chromoplast, chloroplast, etioplast, amyloplast. All are come into the category of the plasmid they are having one similarity that they contain same genome they contain same genome but they differ in their structure and function they differ in their structure and function if we will talk about the plaster chloroplaster these chloroplaster are able with the specialized cell they are able to go for photosynthesis they are having internal thylakoid membrane like if we'll talk about the other plasters which are not having green pigment in them they are able to form the amino acid fatty acid lipid plant hormones nucleotide vitamin and secondary metabolites even it can be said that the plasters can be classified according to their pigment they contain like if we'll talk about the chromoplast this chromoplast so this chromoplast is having it contains carotenoids these carotenoids will be able to give yellow color orange or red these carotenoids are responsible for giving color to the flower and the many fruit and vegetables have you seen mango yellow color orange or red like in carrot mein jaise red hamari gajar hoti hai to uska red color hai this is due to the presence of the carotene in it like golden rice is another example another is a leucoplast do a leucoplast they are non pigmented plasters these are responsible for the manufacture and the storage of starch and lipids so in leucoplast we can take amyloplast and etioplast in it so we can say even as a, it has been observed that the all plasters including the chloroplast has been developed from the protoplast means first in the plants protoplast is formed 
then as per the function and the need of the cell these protoplasts are converted into the different plasters these plasters are small in size 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter these plasters are having ability to convert from one plaster to the another plaster mean jab pro plaster se koi particular plaster bana theek hai lekin later on they are having ability to convert from one form of plaster into the another like if we'll take the example of tomato wahan pe kya ripening ho rahi hai so when there is a process of ripening process what is there वहाँ पे बनना चाहिए क्या बनना चाहिए क्रोमोप्लास्ट क्लोरोप्लास्ट की जरूरत नहीं है वहाँ पे सो द क्लोरोफिल और द क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड द मेम्ब्रेन्स ब्रेक डाउन देन दे आर एबल टू फॉर्म न्यू टाइप ऑफ कैरोटीन्स देयर मींस एक फॉर्म से दूसरे फॉर्म में प्लास्टिक्स कन्वर्ट होते हैं एज पर द फंक्शन ऑफ द एज पर द फंक्शन ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ द सेल के सेल को उस टाइम पर क्या जरूरत है so now these were the basic intro for the chloroplast now we will shift it to the we will shift to the photosynthesis we will shift to the photosynthesis so what is photosynthesis as we know this is the photosynthesis is a process in which the plants are able to utilize plants are able to utilize sun energy plus sun energy plus the in presence of carbon sun energy plus carbon dioxide plus water gives the carbohydrate if there is no photosynthetic process what is going to happen so if there is no photo photosynthetic process then the photosynthesis then we won't be able to convert the solar energy into the usable form of energy like we have we know we are only having produce on earth we are having only producers of produce our producers are only plants not the animals animals are always considered as the consumers and the plants which are able to go for photosynthesis are called as the producers like we are in case of the photosynthesis what is there there is there are two reactions which is occurring there first we can say that in chloroplast in sorry in chloroplast photosynthesis occurring there under this photosynthesis two different reactions are occurring one is the reaction which is light dependent which is occurring in the light this is called as a light reaction and the another reaction where the light is not required this process can happen in absence of light that reaction is called as the dark reaction so under light reaction what is happening the atp and nadph are formed the light and the dark reaction both are taking place in the chloroplast the light reaction in the thylakoid and the light reaction is occurring on the thylakoid while the dark reaction is carried in the chloroplast cells so if we will talk about how the electrons flow through the photosystem one and the photosystem second this is a specific yeah, in this diagram we are having the specific organization of the photocenter these photocenters are located on the thylakoid membrane which act as a antenna for the which for the sunlight means the sunlight ko absorb karte so sunlight is absorbed by the photosynthetic pigments these photosynthetic pigments are our chlorophylls they when the light is coming to these photosynthetic pigment they due to this light they take the electrons to the high energy state and thus converting this energy into the potential chemical energy in the thylakoid membranes in these photocenters we are having hundreds of chlorophyll molecules these chlorophyll molecules act as a antenna which are able to absorb the or transfer solar energy 
then transfer the solar energy to the different electron acceptors electron acceptor carriers which are present in the membrane due to which there is the formation of ATP and NADPH so if we will talk about the reaction center we are having three we are having three transmembrane polypeptides which are bound to the C type cytochrome on the exterior side of the membrane so when the electron in the photosystem one when the electron is when the sunlight is coming on the photosystem so there are from this photosystem we are having different proteins prosthetic groups are there which are able to take electron further like here if we will see we are having three different membrane proteins first this electron is coming on to the reaction center which is made up of hundreds of chlorophyll then from this the electrons are transferred to the pheophytin this is one of the prosthetic group from pheophytin then the electron is transferred to quinones in the photosystem second complex then due to which there is the there is the the, due to which there is the generation of protein gradient due to this protein gradient there is the formation of ATP so we will talk this in the detail the overall ri light reaction if we will see the overall light reaction we are having five multiple protein complexes we are having five multiple protein complexes in the thylakoid membrane out of these five two out of these five protein complexes Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2nd act as an energy acceptor from the sunlight and they transfer their series of electrons to the cytochrome B5 complex. As you can see here from photosystem 2nd the electrons are transferred to the B65 complex. due to which there is the protons are coming from stroma into the thylakoid lemon and we, if we will see we are having ATPase here which is responsible for the formation of the ATP so if we will say that the two photosystem one and photosystem second due to this photosystem one protons are coming in as the electrons are moving from one one complex to another complex so this photosystem second is responsible for the formation of ATP and this photosystem second is responsible for formation of NADP to NADPH means there is a reduction process so the path of electron in photosystem second is like that when the energy is when the sun when the sunlight is coming on to the chlorophylls which are present on the photosystem second this energy is utilized in the breakdown of water this energy is utilized in the split of water molecule to the oxygen and the proton all this reaction is carried in the thylakoid lumen the high energy electrons then are transferred to a series of carrier first it is transferred to the plastoquinone which is the lipid soluble then from quinones of the mitochondria plastoquinone then from photosystem first to the cytochrome b5 complex as by the plast as there is another protein transfer electron transfer is there plastocyanin there is an electro protein complex photosystem second to complex b56 then from b56 the electrons are taken by the plastoquinin to the photosystem one due to which again there is the accumulation of 
H positive ions from the stroma into the lumen. So when into the lumen due to which there is the higher concentration gradient of H positive ions in the thylakoid lumen by which then the ATP synthesis takes place. So in photosystem second electrons are carried by the plastocyanin this plastocyanin takes electron from the photosystem second to the photosystem one then the photosystem one uses energy to reduce nadp positive to nadp h because there is a one carrier molecule which is called as ferredoxin fd this ferredoxin is attached with one enzyme that is called as NADP reductase. That is called as NADP reductase. This NADP reductase reduces NADP positive into the NADPH. So, the passage of electrons through the photosystem one and second are able to are responsible for the generation of ATP and NADPH. Then the both ATP and NADPH are used in the Calvin cycle where we are able to make the, where the plants are able to make the carbohydrates. This was the Z scheme from photosystem second. The electrons are transferred to the photosystem one. So we are having another scheme that is called as cyclic electron flow where the electrons are not in a Zard scheme there is only the formation of ATP only there is a formation of ATP only that pathway is called as cyclic electron flow so what is happening here only ATP are formed not the NADPH means when there this process is occurring when when the plants are in need of more ATP so here photosystem 1 gets excited photosystem 1 get excited they transfer its electron to the cytochrome b56 due to which there is the accumulation of h positive ions in the lumen of the thylakoid membrane as you can see there in the diagram then from the plastoquinone again the low electron energy is taken back to the photosystem one when there is when this process is occurring continuously then there is the higher accumulation of h positive ions in the lumen of the thylakoid due to which then the ATPase is there this ATPase is responsible for the formation of ATP so whenever the cell is in need of extra extra ATPs that time this process is occurring so if we will talk about the non cyclic or the ZAR scheme of photosystem second and photosystem one which we discussed earlier there is the yield of 1 to 1.5 ATP molecules and in this cyclic flow we are having yield of 0.5 to 1 ATP molecules so this was how electrons are sorry electrons are taken into the electrons are taken into the chlorophyll molecules from photosystem second to the photosystem one by which there is the generation of protein gradient proton gradient which are responsible for the formation of ATP and the photosystem one is responsible for the formation of NADPH via the NADPH reductase. Now, if we, this is the whole diagram, how the fo this is a complete diagram for the photosynthesis, how the photosynthesis are occurring inside the plants, what is happening there in the photosynthetic reaction. So now we will talk about the biogenesis of chloroplast. As we know that chloroplast never originated de novo. There were two scientists, Schimper and Mayer, in 1883. They accepted that chloroplast multiply by fission. Similar is case with the mitochondria. 
so experiments were carried many experiments were carried like they have taken a one alga nitila this nitila is having single huge chloroplast so under camera con under the con condition control condition they were record the whole process how this biogenesis of chloroplast takes place it for scientists it took them 18 years and they record every on this cinematographically so first they said that the first there is appearance of protoplast which is double membrane then due to the many steps involved in the light and dark in the presence of light and dark conditions this protoplast is converted into the chloroplast so in presence of light what is happening to the chloroplast the internal membrane grows and it gives vesicles means jo andar wali membrane wo continuously grow ho rahi hai abhi continuously grow ho rahi hai to kahan jayegi so what they they pinches of vesicles in the matrix फिर ये मैट्रिक्स जब मैं छोटे छोटे विजिकल्स आ गए किस में मैट्रिक्स में देन दे फॉर्म इनटू द डिस्क एक छोटे छोटे डिस्क स्ट्रक्चर में ये बन जाते हैं द इंट्रासाइटोप्लाज्म मेम्ब्रेन आर द थैलोकाइड्स फिर जब क्या ये थैलोकाइड जो स्मॉल विजिकल है ये फिर क्या बनाते हैं डिस्क लाइक स्ट्रक्चर थैलोकाइड फिर ये कंप्लीटली एक दूसरे के साथ अरेंज हो जाता है फिर ये इसको बनाता है ग्राना जब ये ग्राना बनाता है डैट टाइम द थैलोकाइड आर नो लॉन्गर कनेक्टेड विद द इनर मेमरिन जो ये थैलोकाइड्स है फिर ये इनर मेमरिन के साथ स्ट्रक्चर नहीं बनाते हैं बट दीज थैलोकाइड्स आर इंटर कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर डैट इज इंटर ग्रैनल थैलोकाइड एक दूसरे के साथ जो एक ग्राना मिक्सअप होता है या थैलोकाइड टू थैलोकाइड थैलोकाइड ऑफ वन ग्राना इज कनेक्टेड टू द थैलोकाइड ऑफ अनदर ग्राना दैट दैट सिस्टम इज कॉल्डस इंटरग्रनल intergranal thalloids so this was what processes are occurring in presence of the light in absence of the light reverse process is taking place reverse process matlab ko ki wahan pe etiolation hoti etiolation means when there is no chloroplast present in the cells means they lose their green pigments when they lose their green pigments they make a tubular like arrangement forming the prolaminar bodies forming the prolaminar bodies these prolaminar bodies are the young thalloid membrane which lack photosynthetic or photosynthetic pigment fir jo hi next day jab light aa jati hai they are able to form the chlorophyll molecules which results in the formation of the thalloids but still we are not still able to go for the how this chloroplast diffusion takes place many molecular mechanism has been given like in higher plants they have observed that the, there are 80 to 120 chloroplast which are which necessitate cell diffusion even if the cell is not dividing but the chloroplast are having ability to divide they have observed when the chloroplast is dividing they are ha- they are having tubulin like proteins there they are having tubulin like proteins so they named this tubulin like protein as ftsz and the another form of protein they observed there is the arc5 they observed that these are dynamin like proteins these arc5 represents accumulate and replicative of chloroplast so these are the two different process these are the two different processes which they have observed while the chlorop- chloroplast is divided and they further observed that if there are proteins are there they are they are there are chaperons chaperons are the proteins which doesn't allow protein to get folded till it reaches its further डेस्टिनेशन सिंपली चैपरॉन क्या होता है वो एक अटैच प्रोटीन जब मॉलिकल बनता है इसको अपनी स्पेसिफिक जगह में जाना होता है लाइक वी हैव सीन इन केस ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट और इन केस ऑफ न्यूक्लियस जब साइटोसोल में प्रोटीन बना इसको अपने स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गेनली में जाना है ऐसा भी हो सकता है रस्ते में फोल्ड हो जाए 
तो फिर हमारा प्रोटीन लॉस हो जाएगा इसके साथ एक अनदर प्रोटीन अटैच हो जाता है जो इसको अलाउ नहीं करता है फोल्डिंग होने में जब तक ये पॉलीपेप्टाइड जो है अपनी स्पेसिफिक जगह पे पहुंचे जो ही पॉलीपेप्टाइड अपनी स्पेसिफिक जगह पे पहुंच जाता है जो ये चैपरॉन मॉलिक्यूल है इस हेल्पर मॉलिक्यूल जो है वो रिमूव हो जाता है और जो ये सिग्नल ये ना ये पॉली पॉली पॉलीपेप्टाइड है इसमें सिग्नल सीक्वेंस ब्रेक हो जाती है फिर ये अपना थ्री डी कन्फर्मेशन ले लेता है दे वी हैव ऑब्जर्व इन केस ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट दैट टू डिफरेंट चैपरॉन्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन रेगुलेटिंग द सेल डिविजन सो दे हैव नेम द चैपरॉन्स एज सी पी एन सिक्सटी एंड द पी ए आर सी सिक्सटी बट टिल नाउ वी हैव नॉट कंक्लूडेड हाउ द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल डिविजन इन केस ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट टेक्स प्लेस इट हैज़ बीन सेट एज यू कैन सी इन द डाइग्राम it has been said that there are many environmental cellular and temporal factors which are responsible for the chloroplast biogenesis it they have observed one important protein that protein is called sco3 sco3 which its function is not exactly known but if they have observed this importance of this protein via different mechanism they have observed that if sco3 protein is mutated then the eto plus differentiation in cotyledons means there is no formation of the pigment molecules and this so3 protein is targeted to the surface of the peroxisomes this so3 is targeted to the surface of the peroxisomes and is associated with the microtubules of cytoskeleton and is associated with the microtubules of cytoskeleton इट मीन्स कि कुछ ना ऐसा प्रोसेस है द साइक्लिन लाइक प्रोटीन्स और सॉरी ट्यूबुलन लाइक प्रोटीन्स आर इन्वॉल्व सो दिस मे बी द एस सी ओ थ्री मे बी द वन ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स ऑफ द ट्यूबुलन विच आर फाउंड इन द प्लांट्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द बायोजेनिस ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास दिस वॉज यूर टूडेज टॉपिक सो वी आर डन विद द क्लोरोप्लास थैंक यू